Hi everyone, it's Fred Stowe here again. Uh, here's a quick tutorial on uh, how to restore Bluetooth functionality on uh, your Windows 10 computer which has a um, Qualcomm Theros 3012 Bluetooth module. Now I've got two, or if I've got three computers which use this module. Uh, they are all Samsung all-in-one uh, DP700 devices. Now what was happening when I first installed uh, Windows 10 over the Windows uh, 8 which was originally supplied the Bluetooth uh, on all these devices were working fine but then after a Windows update to 1909 and 1903 uh, this just could not find any kind of Bluetooth devices whatsoever um, so I went through many, many, many different tutorials uh, about how to reinstall the drivers and download patches from Microsoft. didn't work at all. So every time I clicked on devices, adding Bluetooth, uh, nothing. So as you can see, I managed to get it to work. So what you need to do is go to, bizarrely, a Sony PlayStation update uh, site. It's here. And I am going to give you the link shortly uh, in the comments. So, um, download that uh, driver package and uh, eventually you will see something called the EP0000067154. That's what you want. So, firstly, you want to uh, go to your Windows icon, right click, go up to Device Manager, go to Bluetooth, and uninstall, right click, and uninstall device, which is the Qualcomm driver here. So, when it comes up with this, do you want to uninstall, uninstall this and you want to delete the driver for this device then press uninstall. Now I'm not going to do it because I've already done it but um, anyway close that, close this and then you come to this driver package right click and open properties then you want to go to compatibility and then you want to run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. So tick this button here and then press apply. Um, do not restart your computer after you have uninstalled the uh, original Bluetooth module. So literally do everything as I've just said. Then you run this program, this uh, Bluetooth driver program and hopefully when you restart this will be off as a default but then you just turn it back on go to add bluetooth and have a search for some devices and mine just worked perfectly well but remember to just to restart the computer after you've installed the sony uh, drivers um, okay hope this helps leave your comments below